Hi, this is Chantal Girardi and welcome back to Do-It-Yourself Facebook Marketing. So today we're going to be talking about groups and group rules, group etiquette, group intention. What is the purpose of Facebook groups? So Facebook groups are communities that get created by people on Facebook. Now these groups can be set as private, uh, as public, uh, or as closed, okay? Now before you even consider going and starting a Facebook group, because remembering that all of these require work. So before you even start considering doing a Facebook group, what is your intention? Are you trying to nurture existing clients? Are you trying to attract like-minded people to a group and then try and upsell them into your program? Or are you trying to uh, get money from your clients and then put them into a group to actually run a program? Okay, so there's various ways that you can use groups. So let's just talk about the one. The first one may be to attract people. So say for example, you are a used car business on the Gold Coast. You might start a used car group, a used car sales group um, on Facebook for people on the Gold Coast. And you might decide that it's going to be a public group. And then you might invite people to come into that group and uh, sell their used cars or buy, sell, or look for used cars. Now, the benefit of that is you being the owner of the group is firstly, you can say in your description that no other person who's selling cars um, is allowed to sell it because this is for, your, for you to be able to do this, okay? The other thing you could also do is uh, establish the ground rules and say that uh, people are only allowed to ask questions or they can't, uh, if they're going to make sales, they need to do it through you. You basically have to work out how you're going to run or manage that group and how is it going to actually turn a result for you. Okay, then you might attract all these people now that want to buy and sell cars and they come into your group. Um, you can qualify them by getting them to answer questions as they come into the group. So for example, you could say, uh, if you're coming into the group, please understand that I have this used car sales business. So no one else is allowed uh, to promote their car sales uh, business other than mine. However, private sales are allowed. So you can decide how the rules are going to be. You could also then in the rules below say if you come into this group, you uh, agree to follow and abide by the rules which you've also set up, okay? You also then want to make sure the name of the group is very clear and, and that you fully understand your privacy settings as well, okay? Now, for example, if you want to uh, monetize your Facebook group, there's a couple ways you could do it. You could, if, you have, if you're a business coach, you could invite all people that are interested in learning how to do business uh, better, you could say to them, you can come into my group, but you've got to pay a monthly amount uh, or you have to do my program and to be able to come into this group. So there needs to be a monetary exchange before you come into this group and before I actually give you value. And then for example, you'll run them through a program inside that group. So either you could do Facebook Live, you could add files that they could go through, you can add modules that they could go through, or even give them guest speakers and have allocated guest speakers per day. Um, and you can say that if you pay me this amount of money or if you've already paid me and I'm doing my course, you can come into my group and you can actually, um, and you can actually uh, be run through my program. Okay, so it's a great way to keep existing clients um, and take them through a program. Um, so the other, the other group, and that's when you'd also have it as a secret group as well. So then obviously other people have groups on Facebook as well. And you'll notice that they've also set up their rules and they've got their description. So it's always important to have a look at who's running those actual groups, okay? So, so for example, if I'm teaching business owners on how to uh, advertise their business uh, using Facebook, if another group is run by a social media manager, chances are they're not actually going to allow my posts to be published in that group or they're going to stop or prevent what it is that I do. Now, one of the things I want you to understand is that hashtags are... A, are not a Facebook thing. They are just a thing that, fa that, face that the group administrators use on Facebook to manage who posts on what day, okay? So you do not need to use hashtags to search on, face on Facebook. However, Facebook uh, group admins use the hashtags to rule or run the group. So for example, they might go hashtag Monday is marketing Monday. Hashtag Tuesday is Event Tuesday. Hashtag Wednesday is Special Wednesday or Promo Day. And they use that hashtag, meaning that they want you to acknowledge that on that day, you have to use that hashtag and that you're following their rules and it's within their guidelines. Okay, so you need to have a look at who the administrator is, think about what the intention for the group is, 
You've then also got to uh, have a look at the group description and make sure that that group is going to be valuable to you and that your ideal clients are in there and you're going to be able to add value to those people. Um, and then you basically got to follow the rules, okay? So for example, if they have a rule where you're allowed to share your top tips and it's a business group and there's other people in there looking for business support, you can go in and go hashtag top tips on your Tuesday and you can add your tips in there and they may or may not allow you then to self-promote. So they may say to you, no self-promotion allowed, meaning you cannot share your link to your business page or to your Facebook page or to your website. And if you do, they'll give you a warning, warning or they'll report you as spam. So share your tips in there. The thing is, is that this is why it's so important that your personal profile is set up professionally and properly because it's quite easy for people just to click onto your name and click through onto your personal profile and then see uh, your business anyway. Um, if you've evoked enough curiosity and if you've built that relationship with them. So that there's what your group strategy basically would be. There is also a way for you inside the group to search for other people that are looking for your services. You just wanna be looking out for that little magnifying glass on the midway down on the left-hand side, um, where you can actually search within that group to see if people are looking for a business coach, if they're looking for a painter. And that way then you can go and answer them and pitch them and say, hey, this is what I do. This is my point of difference. Uh, this is why I do what I do. And see, this is how, and, and if you'd like to work with me, um, please, please reach out and contact me. All right, so let's share screen now and go and have a little look. So let's start with the, F square on the top left hand side. So this takes you to Facebook land, okay? And as you scroll down the left hand side, it says explore groups. So this is where we click into the groups. And over here, you can see the groups that you're in um, and it will suggest groups to you and it offers you a whole bunch of categories as well. What I want you to know though, is that Facebook is a search engine. So if you actually go into the search engine up at the top and if I go business, and I go search, then there's this line across the top here that says, do I wanna search business posts, people, photos, videos, marketplace, pages, places, or groups? So you can actually click on groups and it will show you other groups that are business related or have the name business in there. That way you can hover over them, uh, check out the groups, see whether or not they are actually uh, getting a lot of engagement and if they've got a lot of members. So you wanna be looking out for active groups, okay? Then when you click into the group, you wanna go and stalk that group and have a look at their rules. Let's go over here. We'll go into this group. You can see it's a private group over here. On the right-hand side, you can have a look. This group has got 28,541 members. The description over here is on the left-hand side, okay? So it gives you clear guidelines on what it is that you can do in the group. The other thing you could do is check out the announcements up at the top. So if you have a look here, many of them will put it in the announcements over here where they will let you know how the group is run or who's running it and what is expected or allowed from you. Okay, now many of these groups will also sell the advertising position. So you can actually buy that banner up at the top for anything from 10, $15 a week. You can actually buy that advertising space, especially in the buy and sell groups. So um, keep an eye out for that as well, because you could be advertising your services at the top over there and, and, and use that space. But again, only for part of your strategy and it actually amounts to a return on investment. The next thing they may do is they may ask you to pay to advertise on that group. So whoever pays can advertise and those people who don't pay you are not allowed to advertise on that group, okay? Um, and some of the groups even have different layers. So. Uh, they might say this amount of money, you're entitled to do this, this amount of money, you're entitled to this, you pay this, you can actually be a guest influencer, you can actually do live trainings. So the, the more you pay, the more access they give you to that group. So they build that group with the right people and they allow you to promote on that group. So let's go back here to Facebook world. We'll go back into groups over here and I'll show you how to set up a group. So here it says create a group. We click onto that. Uh, you want to name your group. Now, remembering that if you have a, some quick, cryptic fluffy name, uh, it can confuse people. It really needs to say what it is. So for example, uh, my group is called Free Facebook Advertising. So I allow people to advertise for free on my Facebook page. So the name says what it is because that is also what people are gonna be searching for, looking for. You do have to add at least one person. So just add your partner or uh, somebody that you know. And then you can go through your privacy settings over here and decide 
uh, how private you're going to want that. So obviously public, if you're trying to attract people into that, or private, if you want to qualify people coming in, or potentially even take payment from them, okay? Uh, once you've done that, you're going to go to create group, uh, and then it's going to take you to your group. So I'm just going to click into mine here and use mine as an example. So as you can see, within three seconds of coming to the group, I've already got my rules for my group up on that banner. So within three seconds, I've made it really easy for people that this is what they're allowed to do on my in my group. This is what they're allowed to do. Um, not only that, but as an announcement over here, I've got it set up clearly letting people know my story, why I have the group, what I'm hoping to achieve, and once again, the rules. Also, I let them know that they're able to check out my website, book an appointment with me, or go onto my Facebook page, okay? Then down the right-hand side over here, you've got your description. So once again, a description of what the page is for and what, 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 you, what your intention is. Do not be fluffy, be incredibly clear. This over here is where then you'd go to add people into your group. Um, and you can also send the URL to them. So you can actually send and invite them and invite people to join your group. Okay, this is people that are on your friends list. You can send an invite to them. You can also, however, take this URL, uh, not that URL, this URL, you can actually take this URL up at the, up at the top there and share that to people uh, on your database, on your Facebook page, and let them know that they can join their group. Okay, um, what's really cool about setting up these groups over here is down the left-hand side, you can see over here, you can have access to your members and check out your members. You can see who's actually a member of your page. Uh, you can also schedule events within inside the group, which is really cool. And you can see the events from my page are here in my group as well. Um, you have group insights, so there are separate insights as well to see who's responding and who's engaging, uh, which is incredibly important as well to monitor. Remember, part of your R's is to review. Uh, what it is that you're doing and make changes. Um, and then if you come back to these uh, in the middle, there's the three dots that say more. And if you click on that, once again, there's another space here for you to invite your, your uh, members and you can edit your group settings. So this over here is what I wanted to show you. Uh, this over here is basically how it'll look when you go to start, start it up. So you can see, you've gone in and you've set it all up. Um, you've linked your page as well, so it'll jump onto your Facebook page. So when people are on your page, they can see that this is the group that you have. You can even create that URL that we were talking about over there that you can share with people. You can choose a color. Um, and you can basically set it up how you like. So again, it's how you want to run the group. So what is your intention? You know, uh, Do you want people inviting other people in? Or do you only want to be including people in? Membership and requests. So this is what I spoke about earlier. You want to make sure that you are asking people questions before they come into your group. So for example, I've said to people, are you a business owner who's interested in learning how to use Facebook to grow your business? And if they answer yes, well, it means I can reach out to them and offer them my program. Have you read the terms and conditions? Uh, and then also I'm sending you to my website here as well to say, hey, there's heaps of free training resources on my website. So go onto my website and check it out as well. So you want to make sure that you're pointing people uh, in the right direction. So that there basically is how you set up your group. Uh, if you do want to delete your group, you've basically got to go into your members. You've got to delete all your members and then delete yourself as well, and your group will disappear. Remembering that everything you do on Facebook, so the more pages you have and the more groups you have and the more profiles you have, the more work you're creating for yourself. So you want to make sure that you have a simple strategy which has an intention of what you're hoping to achieve. Think about what you're hoping to achieve because just having a group and attracting those people is going to do nothing unless you nurture those people. And, and if you um, nurture those people, uh, you want to be able to put yourself in front of them. And at the end of the day, you want to turn them into clients. So what is that strategy moving forward? So hopefully, guys, that that has answered some of your questions with regards to Facebook groups and how you can use them for your business. Uh, this is one of those things where you potentially may need to work with a coach in order to come with, up with that funnel or with that strategy on how you're going to use Facebook groups uh, in your business. Uh, a lot of business owners are using it where once, once they've worked with you as a client, they can go into one of your private groups, they can pay you a monthly retainer, and then they can have access to your free training plus Q&A. 
because most people more than anything else want accountability so that they follow through with what it is you're doing. And you as a, as a, um, as a coach or a business owner don't want to lose those clients. You want to be forefront of mind. So you want to constantly be nurturing them. So it doesn't need to be a huge amount of money. Some people do charge a huge amount of money. I think the most I've charged is uh, $500 for a five week uh, Facebook coaching program, which I did through a private Facebook group. Um, but, you know, I'm currently running a group at the moment where it's $97 a month and they basically get Q&A inside the group throughout the week um, and they basically get one hour of training every single week where I train and answer any other questions that they may have as well. So if you do have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this module today on uh, Facebook groups.